Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on the 3000 GT again. Yesterday I repainted the quarters and cleared them. Today I'm going to wet sand the front bumper and uh, get as much texture out of it as I can. Hopefully paint everything and then move on to the fenders. Hopefully the hood and the doors uh, later on. Um, maybe next week or when we get back from SEMA. It just depends on how fast this goes today. I had some issues yesterday with the uh, um, some WD-40. Uh, somebody is spraying some WD-40, so, um, you know, paint doesn't like oils. So I uh, need to scuff that little panel and, uh, not scuff it, but sand it down and uh, try to seal it again and get the uh, get it all painted at night, hopefully. So yesterday I sealed, you know, a bunch of stuff, but I was excited to seal the bumper because it was red. I want it to be purple, but, you know, black is uh, a lot better than the red. You can see how nice the sealer laid out. I could have just, uh, you know, literally sprayed the color right on top of it, but I have to, There's there was a paint line on uh, here because this was the original bumper color, which was black, and then the bumper was red. It's just how it was. This will still be black, but it's gonna be tuxedo black, uh, like I said before, and then clear coated, so it will be shiny instead of matte. Uh, but. You know, there's a little, you know, it, it just needs a little sand. And uh, since I'm gonna do that, I need to sand the whole bumper since I let it sit uh, to be able to sand it. All this stuff needs to be resanded or scuffed. Uh, this piece laid out really nice, so I'm probably just gonna end up, um, you know, I'm not sure, I might sand it, I might scuff it, we'll see. That, I'm probably just gonna scuff. Uh, that handle over there, I'll sand. The, uh, the pieces of trim, I'll sand. So, since I did sand the quarters, um, with 800 grit and got all the orange peel out of the sealer um, I'm gonna have to do that with everything that is body panel related with the sealer just because you will uh, You know the the paint uh, Won't lay out as nice and then once the clear is on and then after I cut the clear it won't be the same You know, it won't look the same so I, I have to kind of use the same process throughout and then I was really excited to get rid of those little, um, you know, dimples. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let's see, well, we got some windshield wipers. All nice. Then we have the interior pieces that uh, go for the the retractor. They cover the retractor on the uh, glass roof to go up and down. So instead of being the uh, they were tan before, and now they're tuxedo black. And then these pieces are for the uh, side skirts. They're like little fake vent duct things, but uh, I uh, did them tuxedo black, so they just weren't black plastic because those ones looked all crappy and faded. So then another piece that I had uh, painted was this little thing for the, the roof glass stuff. And it was just like really dull black and uh, didn't look very like nice. So now it is that tuxedo black. And it, you know, just goes with the flow of the car. It's nice and glossy. It isn't all like faded and old looking, which uh, makes me happy. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the, for the record, yeah. For the record, yeah. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, off record. I still count wins when they got it. On record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. On record, off record deals. Tell them talk the column for the quote. On record, off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young and blooming. Had less impressions. Everything is ready. All I needed to do is put some cleaner on it, tack it, and uh, I could spray the sealer and then the color and then some clear.
So I'm over at the bank today. I need a wire transfer some money to pay for a surprise. So if you're not on my Instagram, you probably don't know what I bought, but you know, I'm pretty excited that I got one. It was, you know, a lot of money, but I saved quite a bit of money buying a wrecked one. And uh, I can't wait to get it to start the videos and everything. Uh, it will be, you know, quick because I'm just gonna fix it. And then it'll be my new daily. So that'll be tight. So last night I had some issues. I did get the hatch, the back of the hatch, and those rain guards uh, painted and cleared. The fenders and the bumper, on the other hand, had some major issues. It resand the fender, but I don't know what happened. It had something to do with the sealer and the base coat, but when I sprayed the base coat, it re-wetted the sealer, which caused all these weird little um, you know, cracks. And I think it was because it was so cold out yesterday. So yesterday it ended up being like, I think 30 something degrees, which uh, the air inside the shop isn't 30 degrees, but when you turn the fan on, you start sucking air through the booth, uh, it ends up being like a fluctuation of hot and cold air. So I think what happened was the reducer I used on the base was like on that verge because I sprayed it and it completely matted out. Now I was mixing the clear, thought everything was good. I came back in here and it did all of this. So I think what happened was some cold air came through and then kind of did something weird with the bait. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to pretty much sand the fenders, get them ready, sand the bumper again. Um, you know, I'm, I'm stressing again, I've, I've, you know, sanded both these quite a few times and then uh, get them ready to spray. Saturday, it is supposed to be around uh, 65 to 70 degrees, which will be perfect. And, uh, or I could, you know, I could spray it today or tonight and I could use a different reducer for a lower temperature, which I do have. We'll see what happens, but I do want to get these resanded. I was really excited to see them like painted and cleared. I was like pumped to put them on the car and then I had this happen. But on the other hand, the hatch did lay out really nice. This was really dry before and I missed a lot of spots because I painted it with it upside down. When it was on the car, you could see the spots and uh, back here, pretty much this was, uh, um, there's like a trim piece, but it doesn't cover this area. So it was like almost painted, but not purple. So now it's good to go. And uh, I can put it on the car and uh, put all the hinges and everything on here and then put the trim piece and I'll be, you know, ready to put a windshield in or a rear glass. Just finished the passenger side fender. I uh, had to pretty much sand it down with 320 and then I hit with some 400. So the plan is to just reseal the face because that's the part that did that weird stuff with the, the temperature. So it, once I seal it, I'll let these sit for uh, a day and then I'll wet sand them with some 600 and then 800 and then do the purple over them. And uh, now I'm gonna start on this one, which is going to probably take me another hour. That one right there took me like an hour. So uh, at least the bumper isn't that bad. And all I'm gonna do with that is sand the orange peel out of it. Fenders are both sanded down. They are ready to seal once again. And then I'll sand them once more. Uh, and hopefully Saturday I can paint those. But the hatch is sanded and the bumper is ready. So tomorrow hopefully I can base them and, uh, and clear them and have those two things done, which I'm, uh, you know, I'm really hoping I don't have any issues. I don't think I will since I won't have to seal them. I could just, you know, base, clear and uh, be done. That's the end of this video. I had some issues when I was painting, mostly temperature related. Uh, cold air came in, did some weird stuff with the base and the sealer, they kind of reacted weird because it got the temperature dropped, uh, which was unfortunate. I could have had all this stuff cleared and on the car by now, but uh, you know, stuff doesn't always work out like you want to. Just gotta push forward and you know, fix your issues and learn from it. If you like the videos, make sure to subscribe, comment below. Also the bell next to the subscribe button gets you notifications when I post new videos. Click that as well and uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. See you guys tomorrow.